Hello everybody. Second game against Manuel Leon Hoyos, Grandmaster from Mexico. I lost the first game like an absolute moron. After having outplayed him really, really nicely, uh, I lost on time in a way superior endgame. And then he seemed to be hesitant to play a rematch, but we are eventually into it now. So we'll see how we go. Okay, that's a bad mistake because it allows me to do this maneuver, which I normally do in four moves. This knight is a major problem in these structures for black. And now he just sorted out this problem for me. So, yeah. I don't understand his moves, like any of it. Don't even I have G6 now and F5? What the heck is this? What is it supposed to do? I'm puzzled. He played very weird stuff in the previous game too, after surviving the opening. Like I can even win now this pawn for free afterwards. He is a mystery to us. And I reckon I will take this actually because f5, knight d2, bishop takes, pawn takes is just messy. Whereas this one to me seems like a clear cut victory. Well, dude, <clears throat> that should make this score too love to me. And instead, only Lord knows what's gonna happen. Actually, I think that the three minute time control is not complementing my style which style is basically best described as like an old man, slow and miserable. Wow, man, really? Like what the heck? Where did they sell these Grandmaster titles? Out of my game. Go, go, out. 24 moves is white and all you can do is to ask for tissue to dry up your tears. This is pathetic. Out of my game. Go home. Study again. Come back when you're better prepared. Sweetest victory. He can't even sack a queen because it's check. Oh my god, what a colossal genius. You get to watch here. Yeah, baby, new game. Are you for real? Like, what? what is this meant to be, buddy? I'm pretty good with queen and rook. When I've got nothing against it. <clears throat> Seriously, man? Are you for real? Come on. Okay, please get out, mate. Okay? It's embarrassing. <laughs> yes, I can give a checkmate with a queen. I'm pretty good at it, as a matter of fact. Okay, I didn't want to abuse this guy, but I have to. Okay, I don't think we'll have a new game here. Unless we do, okay. Let's see if you can improve on that uh, horrific opening of yours, buddy. Because that didn't go too well for you, did it? <laughs> I'm not sure if these moves are any good, by the way, that I'm playing here. But I'm playing them anyway. He played f5 here, that was a horrid move in my opinion. Thank the lord he's repeating. <clears throat> this is exactly how the previous game went. Rook c8 and then bishop went to f3. 
Rook d8 is probably a minor improvement, but I insist that, and this plan, I mean, really, mate, I can even go knight b5. This is horrible. Don't do this. You seriously need to buy some lessons from me, mate. This is positional chess at its worst. Weak pawn, weak square. No counterplay whatsoever. I mean, check takes on d6. What have you got, buddy? One knight d3 coming in here. K factor? I really, really don't get it. The only reason why I'm a bit reluctant to move because I feel like I'm going too fast. And I feel like I might stuff it up somehow. I like this move, by the way. Because I feel like I, I would really like to play queen d4, but obviously I can't because of knight of threes and stuff. Um, <clears throat> this is definitely wrong what he's doing here okay let's do this I want to reduce the activity of his pieces <coughs> I miss this check and I'm dead Oh my god. <sighs> so maybe I should have taken uh, on d6 here after all. This is a horrid, horrid way to play. Like, this was uh, pathetically misplayed. Oh my god. Come on, man. Play a game. I'm recording, dude. He doesn't want many more games. Finally, okay. So shall we repeat the previous scenario, buddy? That was... Oh, no. Dang it. That would have been so yummy. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that that was legit. Can you play like this? Is it real? Is it good? Clearly, he's playing crazy fast again, so... There must be something here that uh, I don't know about that he does. I'm playing a6 to prevent knight b5, so now after queen c7 I can comfortably guard this, get around, or rook b8, b5, or even just rook b8, b6, and bishop b7 eventually. Didn't he fall for this now? Okay, so normal hedgehog, he doesn't have a dark squared bishop. Um, I comfortably equalize this position. So the only question is whether we can hope for more. <coughs> Queen h4 and then King g7 is an awkward move to play because then f4 and the diagonal might be a bit too short for my bishop. In the other case, knight f6 check is annoying unless I swap the lot off. Okay, I didn't see that. Should it concern me? Oh, not really. What am I missing? Like, why is he playing so fast? Did I fall for some tactics? <laughs> Apparently not. Alright. 
think we have overcome all the obstacles now because I can play d5 at any moment. If this is getting a bit iffy. I think that was another very poor move, by the way. But I'm becoming very, very good at criticizing his moves and very poor at actually exploiting them. Maybe rook up, check, king g2, queen b1, oh, I have to be careful, this rook is hanging down here. Yeah. And I think he's planning some type of e5s at one stage. Some e5s there, alright, let's swing around if we can. Queen f4, k factor, kneel. He, can't, he doesn't, that's even threatening. Is he even threatening with taking me here? The only concern I have about that is my weak back rank. Okay, let's just build up like this and then maybe drop back afterwards. So I'm going to go this too and then drop back. Isn't it brilliant? Am I not a genius? Well, buddy, let's see who can pile up harder. You need to bring on more tricks than that to beat an old fox like myself in the um, hedgehog. Okay, this is a bit awkward. I may have celebrated a bit too early. Okay, can I not play d5 now? Okay, let's do that. <laughs> Okie dokie. I guess there or there or there. Actually, this is best. Pin is always a good weapon. Okay, I want to take away 94 from him. <clears throat> okay, this looks very drawish. I should have played bishop c5, by the way. But whatevs. Um. Oh, shoot. Okay, I stopped it up. Oh, I have got three seconds again. This kid is killing me on time. This is so annoying. This is really, really very annoying. Because I think I just draw it. Yeah, I just did. Legit. Oh, come on, dude. It's a draw. Really? <sighs> Lol. Lame. But I deserved it because I'm slow. Alright. Bring on the rubbish if you were there. Okay, let's see who is better at this let's play nonsense moves at a ridiculously rapid rate. I'm willing to eat certain part of whatever if this is correct. Okay, knight d5 looks very good. Bishop takes, pawn takes, pawn takes, bishop takes. Bishop d4 looks also very good. The only thing I can tell you 100% sure is that one should not play the Marozzi bind like this. This is an official disaster. Why the heck can I not? Okay. I'm reluctant to take here because it gives me gives them the d5 square. So 
Yeah, 95 queen takes rook takes e f4 is a bit disturbing. I don't see an immediate bishop takes pawn takes 97 check. Okay, I think. Yeah, I don't like that. Okay, I will go with plan b number one. Or plan A, or call it plan whatevs. I will have to look it up though, because uh, I would like to have a far more convincing advantage against this rubbish than this. Or maybe it's my assessment is completely off, but uh, I don't think so. To be totally 100% honest. What the hell is this? Can I just take this? Ninety three check. Okay. Pawn c5, queen takes, there's nothing to be gained. 93 check, king cage one, knight of two check, queen takes, rook takes. He's not looking good. Oh well. <laughs> I'm good with this. I think. I'm threatening to take here, aren't I? I'm pretty sure I am. <coughs> and again, GM got outsmarted by the old fox. Except that the old fox doesn't have time. So now I can take on c5 with Ida, and he can't recap. I'm tempted to do this, actually. Okay, let's see. I could have taken with the bishop too, but I guess after queen c7, I didn't really see uh, the follow-up. Shoot, I thought I had this in this case, and I clearly don't. All right, this seems like it's going to be a draw, or not. Can I go here? Forcing d5, okay, whatever. Wait, tell me guys, am I ridiculously slow or is he that fast? One way or another, it's not working out for me. Shit, shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay, I completely stop this. Wow. This got super sad. Super quickly. Okay, now he's getting a bit cocky. What the heck? I mean, really? Really? Is that it? Well, I can't do that because this is hanging, okay. That was a useful piece of information for myself. I don't understand why I keep on losing to this guy given that almost every single game I have got a winning position. 
It's very disappointing, really. Could I have taken that, by the way? Maybe. Maybe we could have. Must be super annoying for him that he can't bring the rook across. Yep, alright. Let's consider it done, buddy. Four one to him and I'm still trash talking. That's class. Pure class. Isn't that going to donate me further material in due course? I guess it is. It doesn't even have a threat per se. Okay, let's all of those white squared bishops so that I can mate you, buddy. Because normally you don't rest until you're mated. <coughs> Oh, that's my kindergarten territory or playground or whatever you call it. Isn't this hanging by the by? Chop, chop. Yep. It's always yummy to take juicy pawns like that. Oh, wow, this queen is not hanging. Shoot. Okay, that was an unpleasant surprise, but I think I sorted it out. I hope I did. Maybe it's got queen g4 or something here to try to pressure me. Okay. I would not like to mess this one up too, so it's time for me to think. Actually, rook e5 looks interesting because then I could go check. Let's do that. Let us do that. I'm trying to clear the queen off this diagonal so I can hurt him there. And I think uh, mission is completed now. Oh, mission. Yeah. Accomplished. Or whatever. Imagine that I said some cool sounding nice English word. Not a free check. And then after I do that, I will realize that I've got nothing at all there. Because all these pieces are on dark, so it's going to be still hard to attack. <clears throat> but I do it anyway because I have nothing better to do. Okay, let's drop back here. And let's do this. That's going to throw him off. I want to do that. Yep, it's tough. I can definitely tell you from experience, buddy, that it's tough when you are that lost and you have no time. I'm very good at combining those two. Wow, really? Surprise! Do do. <clears throat> Come at me, bro. Scarba said GG, but I don't want Scarba to say G. Oh, come on! Okay, so what we are going to do now to make this video valuable to us <clears throat> is that we're going to click on this genius here. 
that would be me. Is the recording still cool? Yes. Um, where is archives? Games. Archives. Give me games. That's it. And let's have a look at this one. Let's download it. Uh, let's open it. Let's say copy game. I know that you can't see this now, guys, but don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Uh, what? Yeah, copy game. That's it. Good. And let's go on to leeches. Good. Let's go to tools analysis board. Let's go for a computer assistance stuff if I can. Let's do that. Let's do that. And let's do that. So this is how this whole thing went. I'm not sure about the value of these moves here that I'm playing, but I think they are definitely logical. And F5 here, I don't know. I dislike these moves, but that was his thing. Play here at knight D4, I suppose master swaps just make it worse for him. F4 may or may not be good. How do I ask for this thing? And what is this even? Okay, come on, load that engine. Okay, so F4, Rook A, D8. Bishop F3. I think it makes a lot of sense to do that. And E5. Every single thing in me rebels against this move. <clears throat> And that's so very badly because it just is the ultimate move that is ought to be not good at all. And so I took, took. And here I wanted to play knight d5, but what I couldn't clearly visualize was that after takes, rook takes, which by the way may be replaced by bishop takes, takes. I can't take here because takes and. Oh god, I actually can take that. Hmm. Okay, so I could have taken it, and if bishop here, then after bishop here, I've got a huge advantage due to the check and take on here. Aha! Uh -huh. So well, because what I thought was that after bishop takes, this is hanging, but of course I'm taking with check on d5. Still, this might be the best course of action for him, but what it means is that he's fighting two bishops. Both of them are very <clears throat> in very dominant positions. I'm about to neutralize the threat of the open file and um, looking great so this may have been to the solution <clears throat> this may have been the solution to the problem <clears throat> simply knight d5 tuck tuck and e4 is obviously horrid because of bishop g4 hmm pity okay just one more thing does he have these tactics knight takes bishop takes pawn takes and now some sort of pin here could be annoying, but I seem to have. Oh wow, this is a beautiful variation. Knight d4, bishop takes, knight takes, and then knight d3. And I'm not even losing an exchange. I'm losing the whole rock. Wow. So how was it again? Um, so it was rook tuck, tuck tuck. I'm forced to take it back, and then bishop h6. That's a massive fly in the ointment, I have to say, folks. Because it turns out then that my variation is actually unsound. So I can't play knight d5 after all. <laughs> Very interesting. So maybe bd5 king takes. And then just play a random waiting or building up move like rook f1 again reshuffling the rooks like I did the first game. Yeah, this looks decent. And then bring swing the other cross other dude across. Now I like what I'm seeing. It is good. Yeah, that would have been the way to go. Anyway, folks, <coughs> I hope you enjoyed it. I was playing a bit rubbishy. Uh, and more importantly, very slowly, but um, yeah, at least we got some theoretical value out of this business. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it, and uh, I will be back with uh, more soon. Thanks for watching.